What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Rav251 here with another requested video. This one was requested by Dylan Howell and he requested that I start reacting to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged series by Little Karibo. And I have seen this series before but that was like a million years ago back when it was out. Back when the original series of Yu-Gi-Oh! was still relevant. Okay? That was a long ass time ago. And to be truth, to be fair, I forgot about this abridged entirely. I just totally forgot it existed. I haven't watched it like in years, okay? That's how old it is. Okay, I was still going to like the sneak preview tournaments and stuff back when they still had them at places like the Anaheim Convention Center and shit like that, okay? That's when I was watching this. This was long ago. Alright, damn I'm old. Anyway, so let's check this out. If, if I recall it was pretty funny. So let's Yu-Gi-Oh! was filmed before a live studio audience. That would be incredible. Hey, Joey. Earth to Joey. Hey, are you in there? It's your move. Sorry, you. Doing this Brooklyn accent makes it difficult to concentrate on card games. I know what you mean. My voice is pretty crazy, too. I'm thinking about changing it. By the way, my oh, yeah, that's what happened in the show. super rare card. Groovy. Hey, bada bing. Rare card. That sounds vague enough to be the Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's and very since true. I'm a that child makes an excellent point. In charge of a huge gaming company, I obviously have nothing better to do than go check it out. Exactly. Hey, Gramps, can exactly we be seeing right. super rare, awesome, chocolatey, fudge coated mega super card? I don't see why not. What? Here it is, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's that thing is huge. That's the most name for a monster I've ever heard. What kind of mook could want a card like that? I'm here for you, Blue Eyes old man, and I won't take no for an answer. Now give it to me. No curses, foil Curses. <laughs> I'm going to go no. hire some thugs to kidnap you now. I'm a billionaire, so nobody will even think about pressing charges. That Kaiba kid needs wow, to get Wow, he's actually made. not wrong Big in that regard. Team. Hello, game shop. Why the hell is a billionaire going to a public Yugi, high and school I anyway? To submission. So could you get over here and call an ambulance for him? I have far too much money to be expected to do it myself. Wait, who Wait. is this? Who? Yeah, who is this? Wait, Grandpa, who is this? are you okay? For some okay, reason, there's some playing really the card game has caused me to become severely injured. That's right. Yeah, I and really now, don't get watch it. Watch this. Grandpa's special super rare awesome super card. What the heck did you do that for? So that if it's only one of four in the world, me. I think it's probably in worth like a hundred thousand dollars. Every card in the whole world. Shut up and duel me. Don't Shut up and duel me. Yeah, I'll uh, win uh, this uh, duel with your I mean, it's not like the wait, card wait, is it. destroyed. I mean, you could just take the damn thing back together and use it. Play cards with your arch rival. Pretty much. No wonder your parents are never around. Gather round, everyone. I have no idea. With a oh god, song. I hated uh, this. This was so ain't stupid. Nothing, but ain't this permanent marker? Yeah. yeah. Whoops. Why were you even carrying that thing around in the first place? I'm Good a question. Maniac. I stole it from school. Hey, my wallet's missing. Kaiba nice. took it. It's time to duel. Wait, did your testicles just drop in the last five <laughs> seconds or something? What the heck happened to your voice? That's a damn Holy good point. Wrong. Nobody ever notices Real it throughout monsters. the whole first season. Actually, they're just super advanced holograms created for the sole purpose of enriching the experience of a children's card game. Okay, seriously, you've got to be f***ing kidding me. Yeah, Who I know. Who wastes all that money on something like that? The guy who's uh, going to be surprised. Your pasty you would be three surprised. Blue eyes, white dragons. That's who. Wait a minute. Did you just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn? Yeah, yes. So that's against the rules, isn't it? Screw the rules. I have money. There you go. Now, draw also, it's eight thousand life card, points, not four thousand. So I, I don't know where you got that from. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba, except maybe for Karibo. But it also has this, Karibo, yeah. the unstoppable Exodia. Ah, Exodia. It's not possible. Really, really bad Nobody's ever been able to summon this. him. Really? Is that because it's so rare? No, it's because this game makes no sense. Nobody can figure true. out how to do it. True. Nobody except Very true. me. Well, it's not really Zodia. hard to figure it out. You just have to have all the pieces. Obliterate. Big brother, is it time for my cameo yet? How? Oh, how could you summon Exodia? Kaiba. If you really wish to know, oh God. then talk to the hand. Ah, <laughs> Seriously? I went myself. <laughs> Mr. Pegasus, sir, it seems the reigning myself. Duel Monsters champion has been defeated by someone named Yugi. Also, it's time for your sponge bath. Mmm. <laughs> hey, hey, he, like, uh, he sounds like, uh... He sounds like, uh, Zarbon. <laughs> 
Oh my god, you see, now, now I'm thinking that Zarbon and Pegasus are related to each other in some way, you know? It's just, I'm, try, I'm trying to think about if I could think of a, what do you guys think? You guys think I should do a, try to do a video on that? Try to do a theory on why Zarbon and uh, Pegasus would be related? That'd be kind of an interesting thing to think about, huh? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> sure is Zarbon in here. Oh man, I forgot. I forgot how crappy the voice acting was in that. <laughs> I mean, the jokes are pretty good, but and it makes so much sense. I mean, my God, it's a fucking card game. How the hell do you get hurt playing a damn card game? Like, what the shit? Oh my God, it's like I understand like playing the game and like it's cool and all, but and it makes sense later when they're using the magic because the creatures actually in fake inflict physical harm but when you're just using holograms they aren't even attacking you in general like how how is that even doing anything to you oh my god i mean that show was so you think about it i mean god i mean you don't even have to think about it very hard that show was so dumb you know and i, I always remember the thing from um what is it uh yugi versus cell uh by devil artemis uh check out his uh, there won't be a link to, the, to it in the description because I'm just mentioning it. But, oh my god, it was hilarious, you know? Yeah, that's been banned since 2005. Yeah, that's been banned. Also banned. God cards are all banned. Also, it's 8,000 life points, not 4,000. I don't know where the hell you got that from. <laughs> oh, so good. Maybe I'll keep doing some more of these. What do you guys think? You think I should do some more of a Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series? I'm also going to be doing more uh, Team Fortress... Uh, animation so some of you guys want the sfm videos and stuff like that so don't worry don't worry those will be coming out you know so my team fortress uh, gameplays uh they'll still be freeman's mind uh comparing it with stark's mind more of that uh some people have actually liked it because they say nobody has been reacting to those things at all i mean those are those really that obscure that nobody has done a reaction to them i mean they're good they're both really really good and i got some unfortunate news like well somebody said that uh, black mesa isn't even finished yet Yet, um, I saw when you when you put in Black Mesa for a game, it says it came out in 2016. I'm like, so is it like not finished or not? I want to know. Is that game finished? Because I want to know which one of those to play. Uh, Half-Life or Black Mesa? Black Mesa looks interesting because it's got a lot more mechanics. Like you can grab like flares and burn shit with them and you can grab things and throw them through windows. I mean, that's just cool. I like that. It's a whole new mechanic above uh, what Half-Life normally has. Anyway, and also, um, you know, I'll, I'll bring you know, I'll bring it up on the ha on the next uh, Freeman's Mind or Stark's Mind video, because that was just a little debate that got started, so you guys can look forward to that. I'll just bring up, and I'll bring up some responses I'm going to be talking about. Anyway, so tune in every day for new content, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to me, and get also subscribe to Little Karibo, because this is classic. This is classic shit. I mean, this shit is old. But it's classic. It's funny, and it's classic. And I know there's a lot of episodes for it. I don't even know if he ever continued the series to the end. I don't know. I stopped, like, sometime during the Battle City arc, you know? And after that, I stopped watching it, and I just pretty much completely forgot about the series even existing. So I don't know if he even finished it. So I'll have to check him out. So don't forget to subscribe to Little Karibo, and subscribe to me if you haven't done that yet, and hit that share button down there. Help this channel to grow. We are approaching 5K subscribers and we are at this rate we are definitely going to make the 10k by next april guys so don't give up don't stop let's keep the momentum going and let's do this 10k by next april we can do it and it will be so awesome i'm trying to think about it. maybe i'll have like i'll put up like 10k videos or something like that in one day yeah no that's not going to happen that's never going to happen anyway <laughs> Tune in every day for new content, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.